<clears throat> well, are there any more in the waiting room? Uh, no, there are not. No, they're not. Okay, well, maybe we'll uh, we'll go ahead uh, as we are. So, welcome to uh, the shrine room this evening and the uh, puja dedicated to Avrakateshwara with the uh, thousand armed form here beside me. Feels rather lovely actually that I'm sitting here beside him and the community are in the Tara cabin with Tara. Obviously very close connection between Avrakateshwara and Tara. So, Yes, enjoying that. So just to remind you, if um, you have made a hand or anything that symbolizes uh, what you're offering to the world, uh, that there'll be an opportunity, obviously, in the uh, Avrakateshwara Puja tonight to, to offer that to your shrine. So remembering that. Also, just to say this is a little reminder for tomorrow that the groups are actually starting at 3.45 and the, the ritual is after the group, so it's the other way around tomorrow. So just a little reminder about that. And uh, yes, we'll talk about the, the puja. It just felt really fitting to have a puja dedicated to Avalokiteshwara today on the first day of uh, 2020. Um, yes, it, it, it feels very much about what we are taking out into the world. And, uh, yes, hoping very much that you can yeah, have that sense that what we've gained from our experience of last year, however difficult it was, uh, we will have gained a lot and that uh, that helps us to see more clearly what it is we think we can offer the world. And uh, yes, our architecture obviously can hold us very well in that and uh, help inspire and encourage us as well. And it's very lovely for me having an architecture for Puja. I've been meditating uh, on the both the four-armed and the thousand-armed Avrakateshwara for many, many, many years now. And my connection with him feels very deep and strong and, yes, utterly, utterly uh, reliable. Um, I just feel that while I've turned to him countless times, absolutely countless times, uh, often in the darkest despair in different ways and, and uh, well, he never fails to uh, to be there in some way in whatever way seems to be needed at the time it's not always obvious uh, but uh, yeah I discover so a very it feels like a, a very very beautiful uh, relationship and it does feel like a relationship and that I value greatly beyond words. Um, so it's a huge pleasure tonight uh, to be sharing my love of him with you all. So it is a very devotional puja, I tell you that. <laughs> um, we're going to start off uh, in the way we've started uh, several of our pujas this week. We're going to have a reading, the one that I talked about when I talked about compassion from the Gandavyuha Sutra. We're going to have the whole of that reading uh, when Sudhana comes to Avalokiteshwara and asks him if he can show him a way to uh, gain enlightenment and what Avalokiteshwara tells him. Um, Samantha Bhattri will read that and then uh, we'll sit hopefully with a real sense uh, that we'll get from that reading 
just of his absolutely total dedication to uh, relieving suffering in the world. And then we'll start with puja. And uh, there are going to be three sections of the puja where the normal verses will be replaced by verses written by Vasantra, who's written a very lovely puja to Avalokiteshvara. Um, uh, yes, it comes the closest, if I were able to have written a puja myself, this comes the closest to uh, what I would like to have written. So it uh, feels very beautiful to, uh, very grateful to him for sharing uh, that puja. So we'll have the worship section from his mirror of compassion puja. And after that, we'll have a reading tonight, um, which will be a devotional reading. And that's going to be read by Sophie in the Tara cabin tonight. Then we'll have the mantra, which will also be led from the Tara cabin. I'm not sure who is doing that. It might be Maitri Devi. It's, it's me, Ravantana Maitri Mati. Ah, Maitri Mati, great. Okay, thank you. And then we'll carry on with salutation. Um, and then the going for refuge verses are going to be from Basantra's puja. And then the uh, refuges and precepts in unison from the Tara cabin. The confession section is from Basantra's puja. And then rejoicing and entreaty. And after entreaty, uh, there'll be another reading, which I'm going to do myself. And then we'll have the Heart Sutra, uh, led from the Tara cabin. And then the final dedication um, verses come from the Mirror of Compassion Puja again. And we'll conclude with the mantra. I think that's all I need to say. Just getting yourself ready. Give us a few minutes and then uh, Samantha Badri will read those beautiful words from the Gandavuha Sutra. Who knows, of course, what might happen tonight. The best laid plans of mice and men. We shall see if it all goes ahead. Then Sudhana went up to Avalokiteshva, paid his respects and said, Noble one, I have set my mind on supreme perfect enlightenment, but I do not know how to learn and carry out the practice of bodhisattvas. Avalokiteshva said, It is good that you aspire to supreme perfect enlightenment. I know of a way of enlightening practice called undertaking great compassion without delay, which sets about impartially guiding all sentient beings to perfection, dedicated, protecting, and guiding sentient beings by communicating knowledge to them through all media. Established in this method of enlightening practice, undertaking great compassion without delay, I appear in the midst of all activities of all sentient beings 
without leaving the presence of all Buddhas and take care of them by means of generosity, kind speech, beneficial action and cooperation. I also develop sentient beings by appearing in various forms. I gladden and develop them by purity of vision of inconceivable forms radiating auras of light. And I take care of them and develop them by speaking them according to their mentalities and by showing conduct according to their inclinations and by magically producing various forms and by teaching them doctrines commensurate with various interests and by inspiring them to begin to accumulate good qualities by showing them projections according to their mentalities by appearing to them as members of their own various races and by living together with them. Perfecting this practice of unhesitating compassion, I have vowed to be a refuge for all sentient beings, to free them from fears of calamity, threat, confusion, bondage, attacks on their lives, insufficiency of means to support life, inability to make a living, ill repute, the perils of life, intimidation by the crowd, death, miserable conditions, unknown hardships, violence, mental violence, sorrow and depression. I have undertaken a vow to be a refuge for all beings from all these fears and perils. I have also caused a way of remembrance to appear in all worlds to extinguish the fears of all beings. I have caused my name to be known in all worlds to drive away the fears of all beings. I have caused the tranquility of beings in endless forms to appear in my body to communicate to all beings individually according to the time. By this means, I release beings from all fears, inspire them to seek supreme perfect enlightenment and cause them never to regress in the attainment of the qualities of Buddhas. I've only attained this way of enlightening practice through unhesitating great compassion.
A puja dedicated to Avalokiteshvara. Worship. Although this cool drinking water, although this cool drinking water does not quench the thirst, does not quench the thirst of all beings, of all beings, like the water of your love, like the water of your love. Still I offer it with devotion. Still I offer it with devotion. Although this pure bathing water, although this pure bathing water does not cleanse the faults, does not cleanse the faults of all beings, of all beings, like the fountain of your compassion. Like the fountain of your compassion, still I offer it with devotion. Still I offer it with devotion. All those these fragrant flowers, although these fragrant flowers do not give delight, do not give delight, like the lotus softness, like the lotus softness. Of your care for the world, of your care for the world, still I offer them with devotion. Still I offer them with devotion. Although this sweet incense, although this sweet incense does not pervade all worlds, does not pervade all worlds, like the fragrance. Like the fragrance of your kindness, of your kindness, still I offer it with devotion. Still I offer it with devotion. Although these glowing lights, although these glowing lights do not awaken beings, do not awaken beings like the warm radiance. Like the warm radiance of your awareness, of your awareness, still I offer them with devotion. Still I offer them with devotion. Although these rich perfumes, although these rich perfumes do not attract all beings, do, do not, not attract, attract all beings, like the myriad scents. Like the myriad scents of your goodness and virtues, of your goodness and virtues, still I offer them with devotion. Still I offer them with devotion. Although this delightful food, although this delightful food does not nourish, does, does not nourish the minds of all beings. The minds of all beings, like the nectar of your wisdom, like the nectar of your wisdom, still I offer it with devotion, still I offer it with devotion. Although this resonant music, although this resonant music does not uplift all beings, does not uplift all beings. Like the dance of the mantra, like the dance of the mantra that sounds forever in your heart, that sounds forever in your heart. Still, I offer it with devotion. Still, I offer it with devotion. Him to Avalokiteshvara. I believe all beings are one. 
I believe this can be done. Any can reach another one. Anyone befriend anyone, because all beings are one. In the vast unbounded blue, perfect, pure Dharma Dhatu, springs a flower as white as snow, underneath a magnesium moon that is unbounded blue. There his graceful form appears on a moonlight, tall and fair, with the stars about his hair, lotus fragrance crowding the air, the Lord is standing there. Radiant beauty streaming down, radiant beauty all around, pours from great compassion's flower, Amitabha's fire in his crown, and beauty all around. A thousand arms has he to raise, a thousand hands those arms obey. Eleven heads bending their gaze, piercing all directions of space. No being escapes that gaze. One thousand eyes are suffering see. One thousand arms reach out to heal. One thousand palms are passions feel. Five thousand fingers are fetters free with eyes that suffering see. From the darts of fear and spite, from the stupid drunk, drug of flight, from the giant's hunger inside, all find refuge, truth, wisdom, bright in great compassion's light. I prostrate me at your feet, offer you the world complete. May all streams that in thee meet, May all beings your tender eyes greet, no liberation as sweet. I believe all beings are one. I believe this can be done. Any can reach another one. Anyone befriend anyone, because all beings are one. Oh. 
Salutation. As many atoms as there are. As many atoms as there are. In the thousand million worlds. In the thousand million worlds. So many times I make reverence salutation. So many times I make reverence salutation. To all the Buddhas of the three eras. To all the Buddhas of the three eras. To the Sadhama. To the Sadhama. And to the excellent community. And to the excellent community. I pay homage to all the shrines. I pay homage to all the shrines. And places in which the Bodhisattvas have been. And places in which the Bodhisattvas have been. I make profound obeisance to the teachers. I make profound obeisance to the teachers. And those to whom respectful salutation is due. And those to whom respectful salutation is due. in order. I'll do the usual going to refuge section. This very day. This very day. 
I go for my refuge. I go for my refuge. To the powerful protectors. To the powerful protectors. Whose purpose is to guard the universe. Whose purpose is to guard the universe. The mighty conquerors who overcome suffering everywhere. The mighty conquerors who overcome suffering everywhere. Wholeheartedly also I take my refuge. Wholeheartedly also I take my refuge. In the Dharma they have ascertained. In the Dharma they have ascertained. Which is the abode of security against the rounds of rebirth. Which is the abode of security against the rounds of rebirth. Likewise in the host of bodhisattvas. Likewise in the host of bodhisattvas. I take my refuge. I take my refuge. Namo tassa bhagavato arato Sama sambudasa Namo tassa bhagavato arato Sama sambudasa Namo tassa Bhagavato Arato Sama Sambudasa Utam Sarnanga Chami Daman Sarnanga Chami Sankham Sarnanga Chami Dutyampi I purify my speech. With mindfulness clear and radiant, I purify my mind.
confession. Lord of great love, Lord of great love, your mind rests, your mind rests in the natural state, in the natural state, poised, relax, and serene, poised, relax, and serene. Mine is tense with grasping. Mine is tense with grasping. Casting about for scraps of happiness. Casting about for scraps of happiness. Your speech is a symphony. Your speech is a symphony. Of care for the world. Of care for the world. Mine is harsh and thoughtless. Mine is harsh and thoughtless. Or calculated to my own advantage. Or calculated to my own advantage. You wear silks and jewels. You wear silks and jewels. Of perfected karma. Of perfected karma. I wear rags and stones. I wear rags and stones. Of a wasted life. Of a wasted life. You hold the open lotus. You hold the open lotus. Of ease and contentment. Of ease and contentment. I hold the brambles. I hold the brambles. Of anxiety and resentment. Of anxiety and resentment. You turn the crystal mala. You turn the crystal mala. Every bead a thought of compassion. Every bead a thought of compassion. I turn the razor wire. I turn the razor wire. Of self-obsessed thought. Of self-obsessed thought. You cherish the flawless jewel. You cherish the flawless jewel of bodhicitta at your heart. Of bodhicitta at your heart. I clutch to myself. I clutch to myself. What can never satisfy. What can never satisfy. Please rescue me. Please rescue me. From being the cause from being the cause of my own misery, of my own misery, may your mantra, may your mantra, soothe my fears and longings, soothe my fears and longings, may your tears, may your tears, wash away my suffering, wash away my suffering. May we meet in the realm beyond sorrow. May we meet in the realm beyond sorrow. Rejoicing in merit. I rejoice with delight. I rejoice with delight. In the good done by all beings. In the good done by all beings. Through which they obtain rest. Through which they obtain rest. With the end of suffering. With the end of suffering. May those who have suffered be happy. May those who have suffered be happy. I rejoice in the release of beings. I rejoice in the release of beings. From the sufferings of the realms of existence. From the sufferings of the realms of existence. I rejoice in the nature of the Bodhisattva. I rejoice in the nature of the Bodhisattva. And the Buddha. And the Buddha. Who are protectors. Who are protectors. I rejoice in the arising of the will to enlightenment. I rejoice in the arising of the will to enlightenment. And the teaching. And the teaching. 
Those oceans that bring happiness to all beings. Those oceans that bring happiness to all beings. And are the abode of welfare of all beings. And are the abode of welfare of all beings. Entreaty and supplication. Saluting them with folded hands. Saluting them with folded hands. I entreat the Buddhas in all the quarters. I entreat the Buddhas in all the quarters. May they make shine the lamp of the Dharma. May they make shine the lamp of the Dharma. For those wandering in the suffering of delusion. For those wandering in the suffering of delusion. With hands folded in reverence. With hands folded in reverence. I implore the conquerors desiring to enter Nirvana. I implore the conquerors desiring to enter Nirvana. May they remain here for endless ages. May they remain here for endless ages. So that life in this world does not grow dark. So that life in this world does not grow dark. The wisdom of the six syllables. To him who would give me the wisdom of the six syllables, I would present the four continents of the world filled with sevenfold jewels. And if he could not find birch bark to write upon, nor ink and paper, he should make ink out of my blood, take my skin instead of birch bark, split one of my bones and make it into a pen. And all this would not cause pain to my body. He would be to me like father and mother and most venerable of venerables. The Heart Sutra. The Bodhisattva of Compassion, when he meditated deeply, saw the emptiness of all five scandals and suffered the bonds that caused his suffering. Here then, form is no other than emptiness. Emptiness no other than form. Form is only emptiness, emptiness only form, feeling, thought and choice, consciousness itself are the same as this. All things are by nature void, they are not born or destroyed, nor are they stained or pure. Nor do they wax or wane. So, in emptiness, no form, no feeling, thought, or choice, nor is there consciousness, no eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind, no color, sound, smell. Taste, touch, or what the mind takes hold of, nor even act or sensing, no ignorance or end of it, 
nor all that comes of ignorance. No withering, no death, no end of them. Nor is there pain or cause of pain, or cease in pain, or noble path to lead from pain. Not even wisdom to attain. Attainment to is emptiness. So know that the Bodhisattva, holding to nothing whatever, but dwelling in Kranya wisdom, is freed of delusive hindrance, rid of the fear bred by it, and reaches clearest nirvana. All Buddhas are past and present, Buddhas of future time, using this Pranya wisdom, come to full and perfect vision. Hear then the great Dharani, the radiant peerless mantra, the Pranya Paramita, whose words allay all pain. Hear and believe it's true. Gate, gate, paragate, parasangate, bodhisattva. Gate, gate, paragate, parasangate, bodhisattva. Gate, gate, paragate. Arasangate Bodhiswaha. Dedication. Lord of Bodhicitta. Lord of Bodhicitta. Through these merits. Through these merits. May I become like you. May, may I become like you. May I give my life to serve others. May I give my life to serve others. To help them be contented and free. To help them be contented and free. Please enable me to do this. Please enable me to do this. Give me the courage. Give me the courage. And the love. And the love. Lord of Bodhicitta. Lord of Bodhicitta. May you gaze down on the world. May you gaze down on the world. Through my eyes, through my eyes, may your tears, may your tears run down my cheeks, run down my cheeks. May your great loving heart, may your great loving heart beat in my breast, beat in my breast. May you use my fingers. May you use my fingers to turn the beads, to turn the beads of everlasting compassion, of everlasting compassion. May you reach out, may you reach out with my arms, with my arms to embrace the world, to embrace the world. May my body, speech and mind May my body, speech, and mind be your wish fulfilling jewel. Be your wish fulfilling jewel. Omani Padme Hum. Omani Padme Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om 
And so another day draws to a close. I wish you all a good night and uh, see you in the morning. Thanks for a beautiful mantra.